last video we learnt about the sensitivity analysis by conducting the analysis for the unexpected changes in the benefits and in this video we will uh, extend our analysis to the next level in which we will conduct the sensitivity analysis for the unexpected changes in the cost so let's focus on that cost part of the analysis so we start with the assumption that the costs are unexpectedly increasing and for our analysis we usually use the 5% change which, which is the maximum suggested gap because uh, we want to do interpolation and the impression will increase uh, to, a, to a dangerous level therefore we avoid any value greater than 5% so increase in the cost by 5% and then we can change its effect and then we can measure its effect on the NPV that how it changes the NPV and perhaps uh, takes it closer to zero so mathematical mathematically speaking this unexpected percentage change in the cost in terms of a uh, in terms of an increase is to be observed so th the new cost would be used and when we use this uh, new cost then the NPV will be zero and that new uh, that change in this value of cost will be the switching value of cost just like we found the switching value of benefits so this NPV will be equal to zero at uh, the uh, switching value of cost when we introduce it in the cost stream and we know that the cost if they increase they are going to decrease the NPV and we have done it here by using this uh, inverse relationship and we have to do a little bit of trial and error so NPV might decline towards zero and this is something we want to check with the help of data so convention is uh, to keep the difference up to five percent this is that same example that we have used before a hypothetical figures data of the Lahore Sahel Court motorway and the discount rate is 12 percent and the data is in PKR billions the first column is of years the second of gross benefit cost and the third one is the benefits column we take the gross cost ben uh, column um, and we focus on that because we want to change the costs so this is the usual or the original calculation of net benefits the original discounting factor and then the original discounted net benefits which gives us the NPV which is 41.23 uh, uh, currency units so NPV is there and we want to see if it is um, you know going to decrease when we increase the cost and we have done this the increase in cost is there and it is 5% so when it is 5% the increase will happen and 20 will become 21 and 7 will become 7.3 so in this way you can calculate the remaining values of this column so the net benefits uh, now can be calculated with the help of new costs and the old benefits because at one point in time we do the sensitivity analysis from the point of view of one variable and not two variables so this is the new net benefit column that you can calculate by using the old benefits and the new cost column and then the NPV is found which is 37.98 and after this we have the increased cost because we can already see that it's far away from zero so we increase the cost this time by 10 percent instead of 5 percent and we get this value that is from 20 it has become 22 and from 7 it has become 7.7 .7 so with this new cost column we can calculate the net benefits and here we are with the new net benefits that is at increase 10 percent and this is NPV and um, NPV can be calculated simply by adding these net benefits after discounting so we haven't done the discounting separately but it can be done by you as well because it is an easy thing to do and we have done it before so it is now 34 so NPV is still far away from zero so we can take a little jump and see if it gets close to zero so this time we have experimented with 60% increase in the cost 
which gives us this certain column and now we can calculate the net benefits with the new costs and the old benefits this is old benefit column this is by mistake again this would be the old benefits and the new costs so uh, the new costs when we use it we get this series of net benefits and the npv is now close to zero that is 2.13 currency units so we can uh, in bring an increase of five percent again and this five percent increase would lead to this a new column of uh, costs and now the net benefits are there the net benefits will be calculated by using the old benefits in the new cost column that is at 65 percent increase in the costs so these um, uh, unexpected increases in the cost are 65 and 60 and we can use these values for interpolation because one of them give us a negative NPV and the other one gives us the positive NPV between which we will get the zero NPV. So interpolation is invited as we uh, used it before. For NPV zero, it can be between a positive NPV that is 2.13 and a negative NPV that is minus 1.13. And it happens at 60% unexpected increase in cost and 65% unexpected increase in cost. So the 60% increase in cost becomes a lower change in cost and the 65% increase in cost becomes the higher change in cost. Then we have the switching value formula for the cost and for that you can see that the um, percentage increase in cost is lower and this is percentage change in cost in hi uh, higher, this is percentage cost lower and this is the NPV at lower percentage change in cost. This is the NPV in low, uh, at lo uh, higher percentage change in cost. So the values are already available. 2.13 minus 1.13, 65 and 60. All these values are substituted and simplifying gives us the switching value of cost. That is, this is that cost at which at the increase uh, in the cost column we will get a certain uh, new net benefit column which will be the old benefit and the new cost column and when we use this to calculate the NPV we get zero value. So accordingly it is termed as switching value of cost and before it we have NPV zero positive and after it we have NPV negative and at it we have NPV zero. So we can verify if we have found the correct value of the switching value of cost. So we use this uh, same um, table and we try to uh, verify if the result is correct. So this is the switching value of cost and this is that value that we are talking about and uh, we have to introduce this in the cost column and now the cost column is calculated at 63.267% increase in the costs. So once if we have this, the net benefits can be calculated. B minus C is something that we have calculated here. The old benefits are there and the new costs are used. Then we have discounted net benefits, that is B minus C. And this new uh, discounted net benefit is now uh, calculated. Then the vertical sum and the vertical sum is equal to zero currency units. It means that this NPV at switching value of cost is equal to zero. This verifies our answer. So in this way, we have conducted the sensitivity analysis in case of the unexpected increase in the cost, which was the second case of the sensitivity analysis. And in the next video, we can do the uh, sensitivity analysis by uh, changing the critical factor of the discounting factor. Thank you.